Hi everybody, so uh, what we're going to do uh, in this video is to go over how to create an account and then use the Hootsuite uh, application. Now to get to Hootsuite, uh, what I do is I'm searching for the application on Google and then I just click on the link. Okay. So basically this is the web page. Now the reason why I like Hootsuite is uh, because it's a web application, I only have to create one account and then I can create one bookmark. You can see my little bookmark on Chrome here. Uh, and then if you're using a, a browser uh, that uh, uh, you know allows you to, to, to synchronize uh, all of your bookmarks and passwords, you only have to install this to one browser uh, and then it will propagate to all the other browsers that you have. And this is the case in Chrome. So I already have an account. If you don't have one, uh, you can create. So I'm just going to log in. And I'm saying remember me here. Um, now, very important, in my case, I already have several different accounts. I'm going to save the password. Uh, so I already have several different accounts. But I actually deleted one of my accounts, uh, you know, so that I could show you how to do this. So the very first thing before you sign up in a, for a Twitter account within Hootsuite, uh, so in other words, to connect Hootsuite, which is a Twitter reader, into your Twitter account, what you have to do is to log in to your uh, Twitter account. So I just uh, uh, searched for Twitter. I'm going to go to Twitter, uh, and then I am going to log in. Now, the, the Twitter account that I'm going to be logging into is called Research Process. Let me just put the password in. And uh, so logging in. And basically, now I am also saving the password. I am inside my Twitter account. Again, for you to sign up for a Twitter account using Hootsuite, you necessarily have to be logged into your Twitter account. Okay. So once I am here, uh, you know, I, I got my Twitter account. It's called uh, Research Process. Uh, I go back to Hootsuite, and then I click in this area here. Okay. So basically, what I do is I click here. And then uh, there's going to be a little uh, plus button saying Add Social Network. So I click on Add Social Network. Uh, and then I select the Twitter option. And I say Connect with Twitter. Uh, and I'm going to click here. So now uh, it's saying that uh, you know it identified uh, my Twitter account. And specifically my Twitter account called Research Process. How does it know that? Well, it knows that because I am logged into my research process account in the same browser. Okay. So if I say allow, now it's saying redirecting, and uh, here you go. It just added the research process account uh, to my uh, Hootsuite. Okay. So I'm going to, I could add, uh, uh, add account owners and etc. I'm not going to do that at this point. Okay. So as you can see here, now the research process, uh, Twitter is actually within my, uh, uh, within my, my, uh, my, my hood suite. And then here I can basically, you know, do everything that I, I, I would like to do with this account. So uh, I'll do a few things just to show you. So, for example, if I would like to post something on Hootsuite, I can just, you know, type it in here, in this area, and then just say send now. Okay, I'm not going to do that now. Uh, the other thing is, if I want to read my, um, uh, the, 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 you know, any, any post on my, my, you know, the, 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 the different uh, people that I'm following uh, on uh, uh, on research on my research process. What I can do is I can either click on a link 
and uh, it will open up in, on a new tab page. Uh, if I want to look at every single uh, post from this specific person, I click on this person's name. It will tell me who that person is, and then I'll say, you know, timeline, and it will show me every single thing this person has ever uh, uh, has ever published. In this window, or within any other window, if I want to retweet something, uh, what I do is I come to the tweet, and then I I'm going to click here on retweet. Uh, it asks me if I want to retweet to my followers, and I say yes. Okay. Now, there's an important concept here. The things that I'm seeing on my uh, Hootsuite for uh, research process uh, are actually things that uh, I have signed up for. It's not something that my followers are uh, looking at. Uh, so, if I want to take something that I'm reading, and then retweeting for other people, uh, the way I do this is to click on uh, retweet. If I want to direct messages, in other words, if I want to send this to specific uh, Twitter accounts, uh, then what I do is to click on direct message. Now, there's something else that I would like to show you, uh, which is the following. You don't necessarily have to be inside uh, Hoot uh, Suite to tweet something. So let's just say uh, I'm interested in this uh, tweet here. So whatever, you know, read, write, cloud, a SQL database, blah, blah, blah. And then I click here and it opens a new uh, uh, page. Um, and uh, let's say that I want to tweet straight out of this page. So basically avoiding uh, the, the, you know, having to go to the Hootsuite page and write everything there. Now, the way to do this is uh, basically to use the, 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 the Hootsuite uh, uh, extension. So basically what I'm going to do is to search for Hootsuite from extension. I'm going to click here. And this is an, a, a Chrome extension to Hootsuite. I'm going to click on install. I'm going to say install. And now, immediately, uh, this Hootsuite uh, uh, little icon is installed. So when I come over here and now I click on Hootsuite, since I'm doing this for the first time, oh, actually, it already recognized that I'm on Hootsuite. That's interesting. Uh, so, because I was logged on Hootsuite, it already recognized that I am on uh, uh, you know, my account. And now, because I have several Twitter accounts, I need to choose in which uh, uh, Twitter account I should, uh, post, uh, I should post this to. So, I'm just going to select uh, the research process. Notice that there's a little, you know, check, uh, green uh, uh, check here in, uh, for my Hootsuite. And then I'm going to say send now. Okay. So basically, what happened now if, is if we go back to it's probably going to take some you know a few minutes to propagate. Refresh. Uh, yeah, here we go. So once I refresh and I refresh by this little feedback sign here, uh, that page that I was on, so basically the page on the SQL database, I have tweeted using my research process account, and here you go. So basically, you know, I did not have to come to my uh, uh, Hootsuite page to actually to do the, the, the tweet. I could do it straight out of the, 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 the web page. Trying to think about other things that you can do. Well, basically, you can also do direct searches on uh, Hootsuite. So let's say that I am interested in things related to whatever, uh, Google Docs, okay? So if I do a search uh, here, it's going to show me uh, all the different people who are currently uh, searching for Google Docs. Okay? So from here, I have two options. I could uh, select to follow people who are currently uh, doing things related to Google Docs. Um, and I'm going to do a little digression here, but uh, 
as you can see, you know, I, I will tend to follow people who are really focused on the topic that I'm interested in. Okay, so this is basically a lesson. If you want to have followers uh, that are, you know, like-minded people, uh, you should uh, uh, tweet uh, on a very focused way. Uh, so anyway, I could take like, uh, you know, this follow winner, uh, for example, and just say I want to follow her. Okay, so I don't want to follow uh, Paula at this point, so I'm going to skip this. If I were to follow Paula, Paula would start showing up on my list of, uh, uh, of people that I am following. The other thing that I can do is that I can save this entire, uh, you know, Google Docs search as a stream. So I'm going to do that. And uh, as you can see now, uh, I'm just going to move this to the side here. But as you can see now, my Google Docs stream is actually saved to my stream, right? So uh, besides my home feed, I can now, you know, start looking for this uh, uh, Google Docs uh, thing. And, uh, you know, from here, I can also retweet, uh, retweet uh, and this will show up in my home feed. And then the very final thing that I'm going to show just for this video is that I can follow hashtags. So hashtags are uh, always single words. Uh, they're called hashtags because, you know, the pound sign is also called a hash. Uh, primarily, I believe, in, you know, uh, where people talk more of a British kind of English. Um, in a hashtag, when I search for a hashtag, a hashtag is basically a way that people use uh, to mar uh, as a markup, a keyword for their posts. So, for example, this guy here, Yanoa, uh, so he was saying, yes, I didn't know Google Reader, blah, 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 Google Docs. So, basically, he marked this so that every time people are looking for something like Google Docs, and I use the hashtag, it's going to search for, uh, you know, every single place where the, the hashtag Google Docs has ever been uh, displayed. Uh, and if I want, you know, I could save this as a, also as a stream. Now, what's the advantage of actually marking or searching for hashtags rather than, you know, simple keywords? So, instead of just saying Google space Docs, search for uh, the hashtag Google Docs. Well, the main advantage is that uh, uh, whenever you're searching for the word Google Docs, uh, Twitter is going to search for the combination of word Google and Docs. Uh, so if somebody's talking about some about something like, well, you know, I really like to use uh, Google, and I I have a bunch of uh, Docs in there. Well, they're not really talking about Google Docs. Uh, they're talking about the Google company, and also later about some kind of doc. Uh, like, for example, their physician. Uh, if I am searching, however, for the keyword Google Docs, you know, very likely this is what people are, are searching for. So there are basically two lessons here. Uh, number, lesson number one is that you have at least two ways that I'm showing you now uh, on how to search for uh, uh, things that, in Twitter. Uh, but also there's a lesson here in terms of how you should actually uh, post your Twitter. So, for example, if instead of, uh, you know, posting here like a SQL database built for the cloud, maybe I could have created a hashtag for cloud, so hash cloud, or hash SQL, uh, or hash database. Because uh, then every time somebody's looking for something like cloud, or database, or SQL, uh, you know, they're gonna, going to be able to find me. In general, it's good to keep your hashtags Focus on the main topic of your uh, uh, Twitter. So, for example, in our group, we have uh, Twitters about topologies or system dynamics, natural language processing. So, using, uh, you know, for the ontology group, I should probably use a, a hash that is hash ontology or hash linked data or hash uh, linked open data, LOD, but things that are related. Why? Because that will make it easier for. Uh, people to find you. Now, this is a crash course, you know, or the, you know, a crash uh, uh, type, type of uh, video. Uh, you know, there's much more to, to Twitter, uh, but, you know, we, we might end up uh, covering this in other videos. Talk to you later.